afternoon everybody and Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Last year I built a simple puzzle, a ball puzzle game where you roll the balls to certain positions in the puzzle and it was a Meccano magazine design from I think it was the 50s but I think it was also in the 1930s. Some of these so-called new models and ideas do repeat themselves through the perhaps 90 odd years of the Meccano magazine. This one probably does but this one specifically comes from the September 1928 edition, Coconut Shy. Now we'll come on to what you can use for targets and the rules that it says in the instructions, if you can call them that, because it's just like a couple of paragraphs and an image. It's a very easy image to understand though, so we'll show you that at the end. Let's get on with it, eh? Well, a little bit more fun for you at Christmas. If fun's the right word, I think this one's going to be quite easy to knock them all off in one go. But uh, not easy to do it accurately one at a time. So we'll stop the flange plate. I'll try and do it so you can actually see what I'm doing. You'll notice I'm using modern Allen bolts, modern mechano Allen bolts and tools to go with them, which may mean slight difficulties. And I'll show you one of them now. If you had a screwdriver, a normal mechano screwdriver, you could go straight through there quite easily. But this is right at the full stretch just there and I must just disappear because that's the posty. I'm back early Christmas present from Santa Northern Ireland where was I oh yeah yeah the modern tools if you look there this screwdriver type not quite long enough could do with another well half inch would be nice so you full stretch there and it's not quite right and tight so if you're gonna use Meccano tools you'll want one of the slightly older allen keys all the really old ones now sometimes i've found it to be no sometimes occasionally it will go in that way a little bit more so we'll just have to take our time the nice thing about the screwdriver one it is quite fast to use so there's our first edition now i'm using brightly colored parts because it's christmas although Many of the double angle strips, these here, have been repainted, I think. Not a bad job in most cases, mind. But uh, they're not mint at all. But uh, still good to use. Some are a bit skew -ish, but for this, it doesn't really need to be that brilliant. I'm sure it's level. I'm starting with this flange plate because it makes it more stable now there are shall we say economies you can make with parts depending on what you've got now flange plates because of all the models I've made in the sort of half hour build basic simple models building which I got the idea from McCann magazine straight that one out of it Note to self, don't polish the parts before you use them, because they get a bit slippery, that's better. The um, model uses uh, could use all these, which would save you on some strips, some 5 old strips. But, um, I say model, it's a game, isn't it, really? And uh, also, regarding parts... These sector plates are the shorter ones. Somebody's repainted these, whoever. Them. They come to me like this years ago, I think. The more common, longer ones you could use as well. The longer strips, those are 12 and a half inch, and I'm really sure to them, I had to rob them from a set. From the uh, 1970s, I think it was a six set. But uh, you could use five and a half inch strips and join them, say, with two and a half inch strips. Or better still, probably use 12 and a half inch angle girders. But use whatever you've got. I know some of the older parts, even the five and a half inch strips and two and a half inch strips, are not really included that much in modern sets now. So it is available though online. Just be careful where you spend your pennies and how much you spend, because sometimes people rip you off. Of course, that's not just Meccano, but with eBay, it is buyer beware. Really, I was a little bit fleeced, a little bit fleeced. 
um, oh, I don't know, six weeks ago, a month ago. Three Clockwork Motors Meccano, of course. And they were reasonably priced, hence why I, I risked it. I don't normally bid on stuff with one photograph and a poor one at that. But the description did state full work in order, these three Meccano motors, and I'll probably do a video on those actually, because they are quite nice, but they was missing the final output shaft gear. And guess what folks? I hadn't got any. And um, thanks to Richard Payne. Thank you, Richard Payne. Sorry, Richard. <laughs> But thanks to Richard anyway, who sent me some, and don't matter what we, what I did to measure in, they one fitted one and the rest wouldn't fit anyway. In the end, he thank, I thank him very kindly because he got me out of a hole there, and we got them going. Now, the problem I had with the seller was um, full working order. Well, they weren't. Straighten these out a bit. Let's really grab that one out. What's next? Right. I'm not going to do the sector plate shit. So, yeah, we've got... Uh, uh, with Richard's help, got the uh, the motors going. And uh, one did require a little bit of a tweak to the... Uh, I think it was a brake, no, it's gear lever. Uh, it's a bit too lanky, but sorted there. Now, in the design for this uh, coconut shy, there are no instructions on parts required, and there is very little instruction, but it is easy to make from the picture, which I have pinned up above the camera. Incidentally, I hope this is okay. And I suppose if you see this, it must be okay enough because I'm using the GoPro with a microphone. So, a uh, bit of a trial. It probably needs raising up, but when this is finished, it's quite a biggish construction, so probably better as it is. But we'll, we'll just have a play and see what happens. These are quite awkward to do, these build it videos. Firstly, anybody who's done anything on YouTube will generally realise that or agree perhaps but long videos don't really get watched in the whole for the full length of the uh, of the video subject and uh, it's a bit disheartening I suppose in a way I mean the mildly Oscar winners are they but there is some good stuff out there. So, uh, yeah, so I've only ever done, I think, one other Build It video, and that was a simple Meccano Plastic Junior Set uh, Digger, I think it was. Must be a couple of years ago now. But uh, the other thing that does irritate, but I can't do a lot about it, is noise outside, cars passing by, and as one has just had, so maybe the new microphone will help. But yeah, going back to the parts, I'm adding these washers in because uh, to protect the slotted holes, which I generally do all the time if I, if the model allows me to do it. And um, I suppose it's a habit now, really. Hot slotted hole helps protect the part, although. It's probably all right with fairly solid parts like these. Okay. Coming together quite nicely. It's nice and stable now. What next? Uh, okay. 12 and a half inch strips. The layout of parts has just been destroyed. <laughs> now. This build, getting a little bit awkward now, getting a bit more of a handful. This build is, um, it's like a, maybe I'll do it every year, I don't know. It depends what I, I see, what I've come up with. First of all, it can't be too long, and, well, 
I say fun. We'll see. Uh, if you make it, let us know. I've just seen a, where I might improve the model actually, because it's a one bolt fix in there. I may put a strip across there just to stop it moving around. But we'll see how we go on. On to the other side now. So I hope it all stays in focus. The GoPros can be very frustrating at times, but that's probably still the best all round action camera. But uh, yeah, so I might do this uh, a little bit of fun over the Christmas period, perhaps. I'm talking of fun over, fun leading up to the Christmas period. Thanks to all those so far, and I hope they keep coming. There, I think it's 23, 24 entries so far in the mechanozone.com Christmas build competition. Nothing to win, just for fun. Okay, next. And, um, yeah, some like 20, 23, 24 entries. Some marvellous designs so far. Some simple. Some you would have probably never have thought of, but uh, all good stuff. And of course, the challenge is to do it with just a pocket set. Therein lies the challenge. So, if you fancy having a go, just go to Facebook and just do a search for Meccano Zone, and you'll find it. And thanks to all the members overall, we've got, I think, just now, just over 500 members. And it's pretty active. And it's really all about building, I suppose. Now, we're going to do that, we're going to do it underneath with the bolts there. So, turn over. So, thanks for all your efforts there, folks. And I've been doing these, uh, well, I've been looking through all the Meccano, I've gone through all the Meccano magazines for simple model builds, easy model building they called it, sort of carried it on if you like, and it's uh, it's quite frustrating, there's not really that many, you know, the idea, my idea is that if, I'm not no expert by any means compared to some, but if people like myself who have had a dabble with Meccano over the years, if they can build something in say half an hour and the actual thing does something, whatever it is you're building, then uh, hopefully a newbie could build it with the relevant parts in something like an hour. And I was looking for models that you could actually build and, and actually do something and some I've used and tweet so they're perhaps a bit more interesting and I've tried to use more modern parts that are well, perhaps in some way still available in sets on the high street Sorry, something's not quite straight here because it's getting a little wonky oh, not too bad these parts range from the 1930s oh no maybe yeah I'd say the 1930s to the 1970s and today right Yep, twisted. Okay, just get it level. Now I may add some extra bolts to the flange plate underneath just to level it up. Let's have a look. Yeah, it is a bit skippy. Da -da -dee, da -dee, da -dee. So yeah, if you fancy uh, building something with Meccano, have a go, folks. It can be frustrating, mind. You see some of these older parts are a bit twisted, but yeah, I'm I'm really struggling for these flanged plates. They uh, they um they've been they were the the basis for like most models, smallish models up to I don't know probably seven or eight sets sometimes, and. Um, they get used in awful lot of models. And it was a good thing really. Where am I now? Oh yeah. They can be um, used for all sorts of things. Car chassis is a very popular 
use and you've got <laughs> I mean I've got I don't know how many I've got of them but the, the, I've started and to be fair in some ways I'm completed some projects one was the uh, O series um, or O outfit models and uh, That was um, almost completed, but of course every model I think took a just about took um oh for fun. nearly swore then took uh, a flange plate. Now I'm struggling here because what I'm trying to do is tighten with the spanner, but with the modern spanner it ain't quite so cranked and it's a bit more awkward. By tightening the spanner, I'm failed anyway, and not turning the head of the bolt the part on the top can't move but I'm struggling so I'm just going to have to persevere let's get it on oh, I think you got away with that one anyway yeah that will do as long as it's in the right place it looks like it and then we need a angle bracket mm. let's have a look at this so that goes right at the end there Right, I'm going to fit the angle bracket so the slotted hole is vertical. This is a, a one bolt fixing as you can see, so it might be easy to twist it. Should whatever you're using to knock your targets off. Should it move the well, in shooting terms, backstop, a safe backstop, where your projectile can be hit and then hopefully uh, should be, so it don't come back at you and don't go through. Obviously, we're not talking Lee Anfield 303s, are we? This, or at least I hope not. <laughs> anyway, uh, that may be an improvement needed there. Probably just a fish plate on the edge here, although it would be slightly deformed there. But uh, shouldn't be too bad. Anyway, it's only a fun game. Right, we'll put that one to one side for now and we'll do the other one. And we'll uh, adjust it all later when we come to put the final assembly together. That was almost long enough then. Yeah, this one's a little bit twisted, the uh, double angle strip. It does make things a bit awkward, but we'll get there. So, yes, I've gone through all the McKenna magazines right from the beginning in 1916 to the last one, which I think was a 1981. And it was uh, amazing, really, how repetitive some articles are. I mean, not like every every month of course but and I think generally not the very early magazines because it was just like a news sheet really three or four pages and it come out in World War One 1916 so it it was I mean it was the toy then wasn't it well perhaps not 1916 as such but certainly the 1920s which always makes me wonder really because with the recession in the late 20s early 30s and it was expensive now it's not at least I don't think it is. Not too bad. Although it can be second hand again. So watch out. Right, I've got to put another one of those. Oh, I've got to make one up now. So I'm going to move the main body of the construction out of the way a bit. Yeah, so this is what I was saying earlier where you could economise on parts if you've got the right parts. Now, the model calls for these double angle strips. But for the top two mounts for your target, requires some strips. Two and a half inch strips to be precise. And some angle brackets and these reversed angle brackets there if you had some more of these it would save you some parts and some nuts and bolts so what we've got now the bottom ones require angle brackets now I've got a bit of a theory with the angle brackets or rather any of the parts that come into contact with your target 
We'll come on to targets and possibilities later on, but whether it will sit in the small hole, we'll see. If it doesn't really sit very positively in the small hole, use the larger slotted hole. But we'll go with the design as it is meant to be at the moment. I think, I think I've got enough washers for the slotted holes. But um, yeah, targets. Now you can see there we've got here. These are proper Meccano. I don't call them ball bearings, but I suppose that's what they are. Steel ball bearings. And uh, they're not particularly brilliant when they're new because they're very rarely quite round. Better ones are available. But most people will know me. I like to use Meccano wherever possible. But there is options available to you. I say options. I had a right game, really. The instructions for want of a better word, do um, say to use marbles, either as missiles or targets, small marbles. The game, I had to try and get some marbles. Fortunately, on a recent holiday up the lakes, there's a shop in Santon Bridge that sells all sorts of stuff, and it's a cafe as well, and coffee shop. And they have some marbles, not many, but they're enough. So you've got small marbles, say about half inch diameter, but there's another option as well, and while I remember, I'll show you that. Simple pulleys. These simple pulleys. Now you can't knock, well I suppose you could knock them off. Let's pretend now. I know it's awkward end on, but yeah, it probably would stand on there. Given a steady enough hand, but would be very easy to knock off just by tapping or perhaps just walking by the thing. So there, we, we could do that. But now, best thing would be to do a little bit of Meccano cord and hang it off the hanger there like that. So you can hit it like that and that'll swing. So there's an option for you if you haven't got the Meccano balls or marbles. Plenty of options you could use. As for projectiles, um, I don't know yet really what I'm going to use for those. Now in the instructions it says, and I shall quote, the construction of the model is quite simple. Yes yeah, so far, yeah, no problems there. The coconut shown resting upon the angle brackets, that's an angle bracket, may consist of Meccano steel balls or ordinary marbles. The missiles with which the balls are displaced may consist of darts, marbles, etc. Incidentally, a Meccano catapult or the spring gun that was described in the suggestions section some time ago would provide an excellent means with which to remove the coconuts. And yes, there are some spring guns. I don't suppose they could be classed as an air pistol because there's no barrel. Uh, there's no pressure bearing parts apart from the spring, but they're tiny things anyway. But whatever you use for targets or projectiles, be safe, people. It's a fun little game, <laughs> or frustrating little game, and we don't want to hurt ourselves. So here's the health and safety bit, folks. Oh, they'll all yawn. I heard that yawn. I heard it. Oh, the snoring. Just uh, be careful, and if necessary, wear some safety goggles. They're only a couple of quid from the likes of Wilkinson. But uh, the thing is, I suppose with the marbles really, because it's glass, you know, get a chip off them. So be careful. Use a safe backstop. Obviously, we ain't firing nuclear warheads at it, are we? But uh, yeah, be, be careful there. Right, now, we get in there, people. We get in there. Um, what's next? Right, yes, the made up ones now. Uh, yes, I'm going to, looking at the picture, it's showing that the angle bracket fits to the backstop through the slotted hole. And if I put a washer there, that might come into contact with the bolt at the bottom, so I'm going to swap that round. And what I'm going to do to save a washer, I'm going to put the strip on top of the slot, so I don't have to dig any more parts out. So yeah, so... <laughs> It says darts, but 
if you had a normal dart and threw it at this, the whole thing would just fly over. Now, I do have a inkling of an idea that might happen to this anyway, because if you do, say, have a half inch marble to be thrown at another half inch marble and miss, and the marble hits the back of this, it's the backstop, this backstop area. It's going to go like that, surely. And then all your balls will fall off. So, if necessary, add more weight here. I've realised I forgot something at this end, but I don't suppose it's really necessary. But we'll do that in a bit anyway. Okay, so up here now we've got the reversed angle bracket. Again, that uses a slot. Does that use the slotted R side to see? Ooh. I think the slotted hole is on the top. We'll go with what we've done for all the others. We'll use it the other way around. Again, I'm putting the strip above the slot. So, we don't need any more washers. Incidentally, these strips, you can see they're quite dark maroon, dark red. They're from the reintroduced... Oh, nah, reintroduced, that's not really correct. The new vintage sets that they produced i suppose it's about early 2000s something like that mid 2000s under several different guises some for argos i think some for next some were called things but they were all meccano they've still got meccano on the box uh and it was and not a full set either as i found out to my dismay they um they included about four or five models from a 1932-3 set, something like that. And uh, the colours are a bit weird. Nice colours though, but I suppose at least then people can't palm them off as originals. But you only got these four or five models. And uh, it was a bit disappointing really. Uh, I have built some of them now. I've still got one put together, which is a breakdown truck. Um, but it's uh, it's nice. Snag with some of these like powder coated finishes, they are very slippy when you're tying, tying, <laughs> when you're fixing parts together. That's better. So, yeah, that was a bit of a disappointment. And they, some of the prices of the things are ridiculous prices, but uh, they're not bad. Uh, they do have more modern parts, in, such as grommets instead of metal spring washers or collars, brass collars. Yeah, you see, it's quite firm but relatively easy to turn that. So what I'll try now is try and keep it straight. Now it's going to twist again. There you go. Anyway. So yeah, clean nice new looking parts can be rather annoying and i did polish all these parts why well, did the sector plates come up nice i presume that's just like humbrol enamel uh it's a bit gloopy in places but you know i'm still going to use them right we're nearly there people okay Might be a bit top heavy this thing. I might have to add more weight to the base, but we'll see. So, yeah, that parcel that turned up uh, from Northern Ireland. Thank you, Keith. Somewhat I've been after a, for a while. A bit like the Bayco. Don't want to have loads of it. Just somewhat to have a dabble with. And it's Dinky Builder, another Meccano product, which I know very little about, apart from it come out in about the 1930s. And I think it come back post... Yes, they are post-war sets of them. It come back post-war, but... Um, we'll leave that for the... What's it called now? There is a playlist in the channel. Have I got that right? Oh, I have in the playlist on the playing around channel 
for other Meccano products. So we'll uh, have a go with that. As you can see here, it's quite close there, as you can see, because of the space I've essentially taken up by putting the strip on top of the uh, slotted hole. But we should be able to get it in. There we go. Oh, it's popped out again. We'll get there. So, let me know what you think, folks. I don't know if I'm going to do these sort of videos very often because it's very awkward to see what I'm doing. I've got a mirror to look at the top of the GoPro, so I know what I'm doing. Anyway, I've gone in there. Uh, but it's different, I know. And um, I've had all sorts of comments this year. Some good, some a little bit. Well, nasty, really. Somebody even mentioned the L word. <laughs> Blocked it from the channel. <laughs> Just going to do an update here, this little bit here that I forgot to put in. I presume this is just to sort of like mark the line. You do not cross this line. It's going to get clobbered and knocked about, this thing, on the end, on a one bolt fixing. And I dare say, without doing a video, this would be a half an hour easy model build. And guess what folks, I haven't got enough nuts and bolts out, would you believe it? Bear with me one moment, please. Two bolts, two nuts. Okay. Bit tight for space here. Oh, we can be alright. But if I can exaggerate what I was saying earlier about the backstop might move because it's a one bolt fixing. If I hold it like that. Well, you can see there it's already turning because obviously it's not fixed yet. But you see, just the one bolt fixing. But uh, just a simple idea. Fish plate, maybe two fish plates per side of the sector plates. One there, one there. Wouldn't look as neat. But the fish plate, uh, the uh, fish plate, the uh, sector plates are being even more of a pain. But the sector plates are a weird shape, they curve, so it's awkward to do things. Just come out of shot for a second while I get the nut on. Perhaps I should have put the 12 and a half inch strips on last. Looking at this, uh, be less fiddly. Uh, I haven't uh, I've had a bit of a slow year actually this year I'm um, sorry if you can't really see much while I'm doing this I had uh, ooh, I think it was March I built something uh, or did a video I think it was and uh, I never touched well say I never touched that's not true I probably bought some Meccano but I never actually How's that looking? Okay. See the sector plates are not exactly square and in the right shape it should be. Yeah, I had a I had a break from it all. Um lack of inspiration, perhaps. From March till about I don't know, September. Of course there's other things going on. Uh we had a great summer so the motorbiking um that was rather active and I bought another new bike Royal Enfield Himalayan what a machine what a brilliant machine the only thing to me that it lacks over many other similar adventure bikes is horsepower and I say lacks I knew that before I bought it but it's been uh, it's been uh, oh, I think it's about three and a half thousand miles we say a lot on today's standards but it is when it's only got a 3,000 mile service interval. But I digress because that's not Meccano. But if you want to see all that sort of stuff, look in the relevant playlist. Although, um, regular viewers, certainly for the last year or so, a bit more, would have realised I have used Meccano on motorbikes. Just get that in there. She's slipping a bit, but Got in there, I think the uh, Allen driver's wearing a bit. So 
That's a bit. Okay. Just a tad loose. Yeah, same. So doing these videos, I can't. I've got no monitor, and uh, it's probably a distraction, really. But uh, like now, it's finished. Or well, I might want a bit of a tweak here and there. But see that sector plate come loose straight away. So I think we're going to modify that. Let's just get in there to start with. It's like now you can't really see can you you can't get a good three quarters on shot so we'll have one of them in a bit but uh, if I end on you can see there's all the mounts there you can see it's quite springy so it's not going to be very hard to knock them all off in one go but that is the design as per the book apart from a couple of things with the washers now, yeah, so using a monitor is probably a bit distracting anyway. There's only me doing all this, so it could be considered as difficult because you haven't got no help. But let's try. Oh, they fit lovely. Look at that. I've only got these eight remaining. The other four that I had. Eight? Ah, oh, there's you. Here we are. The other four that I had are in the puzzle game, wherever that is. So, would it be easy to knock it over? Actually, that's pretty stable. I'll get it there. Just want to tweak though. So, there you go. But, what are you going to use to knock them off? We could use this. This is one of the easy model builds. It's uh, from the Meccano magazine, but it is tweaked slightly. For example, it's got a modern rubber band on because the old ones now, these are some sort of neoprene or something. The old ones being rubber, they do tend to crack. Um, it's a little limited. I've only tested this with plastic spacers and it throws about 18 inches. But what I did do is add these angle brackets here so that when you told you it was easy to knock them off when you release it you can actually hold it further away and that might mean need something a little bit further away as well but as you can see there's your power source your elastic band and you just go like that and if you want a bit more power add two elastic bands so there you go say elastic bands that's a drive band I'll leave you with the instructions and a picture of the completed model and some pictures of the, well, trebuchet, I suppose, catapult. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.